great events. You know, these kind of events don't really happen in the United States, not big like this. I did some recently in uh, Cincinnati called Scroll Jam, it's kind of club. But, um, it's, I mean, this is like 10,000 people, which is like a whole other level. But uh, it's good to be here. Would you say labels have a big part in this? Definitely the major labels do. I mean they you know they're about pushing the next new artists. They don't really they don't really try to uh, try to promote um, classic artists that have been doing it for a while. There's no interest in doing that uh, for whatever reason, but you know, it doesn't stop me, I keep doing what I do. experience both sides you know what would you say is best for an artist and best for a businessman let's say I think it's best to do the music that you love and if you're lucky enough that it gets on TV and it gets on the radio then that's even, even more even greater um, I believe that there's a you know that there's a few artists out there that really do the music that they enjoy and love and it gets like Kanye West is a perfect example of a guy who kind of does what he does and he sort of force the rest of the commercial audience to embrace him mm -hmm. rather than going to try to do records that people like he does the records that he likes mm -hmm. and he puts them out there and he mm -hmm. promotion and money behind it it works mm -hmm. show um, what do you think about you know we've seen this in this festival also a lot of artists use let's say beats of other rappers especially Fat Joe and Kanye West you know you definitely don't do that right no I, I do I use uh, but I use I use I use classic hip-hop records uh -huh. I use Stetson Sonic I use School D um, I got a Foxy Brown record in my show um, what else I got some classic you know Juice Crew records that I that I play uh, but I don't rely on those records. Those records don't. A lot of artists use use other artists' records to hype the crowd because their records don't hype the crowd. I use those records to sort of enhance my show. But I don't. I don't 
rely on that beat. You know, I'm not gonna put woe on or you know or, or, or um, you know MOP uh, to try to get the crowd amped. Um, I feel like my records can get the crowd amped. I just use those records as ways to to, uh, to enhance the show. Like I use uh, I use Mob Deep Shook ones in the third verse, in the third verse of uh, of my song uh, Born to Roll. Third verse I use the show I rhyme over the Shook ones, which is a cool change up. It's a cool change up. People like the record. It changes the energy of the record. People like 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 a little change. It's really starting to see that people are killing your dream. That's why you're ready to scream. Fuck all y'all. I'm talking to you and I'm talking to you and I'm talking to you. Nigga, fuck all projects we can look forward to? Yeah, in 2000, uh, top of the year, 2006. It's going to be a, a very important, very good quality hip-hop project coming out on M3 that I'm, I'm a part of. I'm one of the MCs on it. I can't give you any more information on that, but it's, it's, we're still working on it and I don't want to put it out there too early. But you will hear more lines from me. Show me the last time I was there, um, and uh, it was a great show. And I look forward to coming back. Hope y'all bring me back again to do another show in Holland. I can't wait.